Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton and thank you for visiting my channel. Today's video is actually being done um, in Australia on the 22nd of June 2022 and in some parts of the world it will be the 21st of June. The purpose of my video is to bring to your attention some really important information before too many days elapse. Now, just interrupting, I normally do um, quite a few videos up in advance, but I felt this one was so important, I needed to do it today. And of course, today I have a raging head cold. So my voice is croaky, my nose is red, my eyes are watery, but never mind, this is important information and it has to go out today. So, proceeding. Now, um, we often ask ourselves, you know, how, how do I study? This is as Noah hides. What sort of daily study should I do? Um, where will I begin? And, um, you know, what fundamentals should I really grasp and understand? Often people, when they become aware of the Noah Hyde lifestyle, um, they have a bit here, a bit there, and naturally they're excited about it. So they're, they're drawing bits and pieces from everywhere. Well, let me tell you, and I've talked about this book many times before and done videos on it, The Divine Code. This is the book you need to have. It's, there's several editions of it. I have the latest one, the fourth edition, but what I'm talking to you about, it doesn't matter if you have the other editions, it's still um, applicable. So this is what you call our law book. Um, it, it, it's um, everything that we need to know about the fundamentals of what our lifestyle beliefs and beliefs about God are and that's what is important for us to understand not grabbing a bit from here a bit from there and a bit from somewhere else and tying it all together start with this start with this this is the foundations I can't stress that enough so and I've done it many times before so if you haven't already got a copy of the divine code there'll be a link in the description box below where you can purchase a copy now Further on now, we have, um, as I said, the, the, this is our um, uh, book of law, and I, I meant to say um, it's called the Shulhan Aru and, uh, for the Noahides, about the Seven Commandments. So this is very important piece of equipment. Now, um, Dr. Michael Shulman, who works tirelessly for Noah Hyde, uh, people throughout the world and puts a tremendous amount of effort into uh, information. He has a website. He, he, he's a very gifted speaker and uh, I, I trust his um, information. I know he sources it authentically and uh, he's uh, one of my favourite go-to people for information. So congratulations to you, Dr Shulman. And you are a blessing to the Noahides, along with some other brilliant men and women as well. Now, let's get back to how do I get through this book? Because this one I've got so over 700 pages. Now, how am I going to remember all that? Well, I can tell you I've been reading the Divine Code for many years um, and now this latest one and you can't possibly remember every nitty litty nitty gritty detail exactly and what page it's on but you can refresh your memory and when you're familiar with it you know where you can locate things and you'll put stickies in it and sticky note things and bookmarks and things like that but it's it, Routinely, we should be studying this every day, a little piece of it every day. And thank you, Dr. Michael Shulman, for developing an actual plan of how you can read the whole book, the whole Divine Code in one year. Now, what it does, it goes from 
for instance, um, the 21st of June, 2022. Now that would be the date in some parts of the world. In Australia today, it's actually the 22nd of June. And from the 20th of June, 22, right through until um, the from the 21st of June, 2022, right through till the 20th of June, 2023, there are um, pages listed aware and, and sections, no, mostly sections, not pages, because some people may have a different edition, but where you can locate all the information that you need to go through and read through the entire Divine Code in one year. Now, it's only a little bit every day, a little tiny bit. So it doesn't take much to work out. If, if Let's just say there's 700 pages in the book for round figures sake. And uh, there's 365 days in a year. You do the maths. So uh, it's not very much you're asked to read. But what it does, it makes every year it re-familiarises yourself with the wonderful gemstones that are contained in this divine code. There are things that you can read a second or third time and think, oh, oh, I've got a whole different slant on that now. So this is very important for us. So don't wait till, you know, three or four months time before you think you're going to start reading your divine code. If you have a copy, start now. Um, the, even if you're behind a couple of days, it won't matter because there are only little bits you have to read at the beginning. So I implore you, please, you need, this is your tool. This is the best thing you can have in your toolbox for life. And it tells you what you can, what you can't do, gives you explanations, and it saves you an awful lot of time than trying to um, fossick around on the internet and half the time come up with some rubbish explanations that uh, really aren't accurate at all. So that's a must for all Noah Hides, in my humble opinion, that is the case. So... We're going to look at that. So, and each year you will redo that. And again and again, each year that re-familiarises yourself with the divine code and what it's contained in. It makes you start to think about something different this year and you get draw something different out of it this year. It may be related to what you're going through in this year. It's, it's a journey, a personal journey for each of you. It won't be the same for each one of you. So the laws are there, the explanations, and sometimes it just hits you in your face and you think, oh, I've read that before and I've, it's only just dawned on me what that's all about. So, and as I said, we can't always quote verbatim section and page of a textbook, which is really what this is. Uh, at a moment's notice, but at least we can familiarise ourselves to know, I uh, think that's under such and such and that's in section such and such. So at least it makes you familiar enough to be able to locate it easily in the, under a t certain topic or what have you. Now, again, I thank Dr. Michael Shulman from my heart and uh, I know he's helped so many people, uh, a tremendous effort he puts in. And this study guide, I think, is one of the most invaluable tools that we have when it comes to facing and finding out and absorbing our fundamental commandments uh, for B'nai Noah. Now, um, and just bear in mind that the lead up to even getting into the seven Noahide laws doesn't, uh, there's a lead up preceding that. And so the actual explanation of the laws with all their um, careful detail doesn't even begin until page 105 on my copy of the Divine Code, which is the fourth edition. So there's a lot of Fundamental basic stuff you need to grasp and understand before you even get into studying the actual seven commandments. And often people skip over that. They look down the index, I want to look up such and such, so they just skip over to that. But they may have missed something in another section of the book that is a flow on there and has a, you know, an encompassing effect. So it is important that we read it frequently and understand it. And if we don't understand it, we need to get some advice from someone. Ask Noah.
<laughs> now, this wonderful um, information here, as I said, it's, um, I printed mine off so I could show you, but it's got what you should read, the date. I just did this here. It's June now here for me. Um, and it gives you the section you should read. And then there's some little circles here you can just colour in or strike through when you do it. So if you, you know, and don't panic if you miss a day. Look, we've all done that. Just, there's not a great deal each day. So you could easily catch up the next day and just mark it off when you've done it. And now, as I said, you can look at this online. Um, I'm sure you could download it onto your devices. I chose to print out a copy just so that I could show it to you on here today. But this is an invaluable tool. I can't specify enough that um, this this study guide is is really it, it's it's something that we shouldn't sort of think. Oh well, I read it all before. It doesn't make much sense to me to do it again. But um, you really must because the it, it's such an involved topic. The Noahide laws. They're not as simple as people make out, although they're meant we're meant to live a simple life. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty of some of the laws, we have to be very careful about that. And so that's why one has to keep themselves, um, how shall I say, um, in tune and, and be able to think, well, I think I'm pretty sure where I can find that now in that book. And I can tell quite honestly by the number of questions that I see asked <clears throat> on social media, etc., and even the emails, I, I do get quite a number of emails, that these people have not got the divine code. Otherwise, they would have at least looked it up there first. And I will often say, do you have a current copy of the Divine Code? Now, some people say, I've never heard of it. Just in the emails. But I've been a Noahide for two years. And often they're following some sort of mixed matched level of belief and lifestyle that really isn't all, how shall I say, how we would be expected to um, follow it if we were familiar with the Divine Code. And some of the questions people ask on social media also reflect similar things. They, they make up their mind about something and you think, well, I think if they'd read the Divine Code, they'd already know that. That would stick in my mind if I had read that the answer to that. So please get yourself a copy of this. I know I always promote it, but it can't be promoted enough. I would be lost without mine. And once you have a copy, you'll realize just how vital it is to your progress and to your spiritual life it talks about everything in there that you've got questions about so rather than try and get three or four different um how shall i say um answers from people and then make up your mind which one you're going to follow which probably won't be um correct please follow dr shulman's study guide that he has put out I will put the links in the description box below where you can also locate the study guide on his website and also where you can purchase a copy of the Divine Code. Please excuse me for my red baubly nose today and snuffy voice, but I just felt I had to do this today. I couldn't put it off. I wanted you all to start doing uh, following that study guide. And thank you again for all the people who have sent me emails to inquire over my health. Yes, I'm off my walking sticks now. I can go outside without them. Um, I'm managing very nicely. And that's largely due to all the wonderful people out there who have prayed for me and sent me messages. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm dearly uh, touched by it. So, yes, I'm back in the saddle again, so to speak. But I'm not at full speed yet. <laughs> In the meantime, please take care, all of you, and God bless you.